Welcome back to the So Far So Good Podcast. My name is Christopher Coombs and in front of me we have... Gaurav Kazanji, welcome back to the So Far So Good Podcast, everyone. We are here and we're ready to roll. Actually, today is a beautiful day. Yeah. As, you, as you guys know from the last episode, we usually record on a Thursday night, but unfortunately we had to push it to Saturday morning. And I'm so glad we did because how much does the weather change how you feel? 100%. Your mood? Like when it rains, I feel wet. And when, <laughs> when it's sunny, I feel warm. But so when it's, when it's so rainy true. and cold, you just don't want to do anything with your life. Nah, nah, I don't know. It when just it's depends. sunny and warm, you just feel happy and you're ready to roll. No, but I was thinking yesterday, the cold was making me miss this warm sort of weather. Oh, for sure. And I was watching a movie and there was, it was like summer in this movie. And I thought, man, I miss that feeling. Yeah. So yeah. far, so good. Yeah, so far so good, guys. Now, we'll kick it off with our introductory question to each other as usual. And as I'll, we always do. I'll hit mine off first. Um, so, Gaurav. Yes. This one's uh, quite topical. Oh, my God. If it's actually topical, I'll be surprised. If it's not topical, then it's Chris topical. Okay, Let's it's, go. Not, it's not topical. Is it tropical? Could be. Is it a tropical question? Could be. Let's see. I can Actually, you know what? I can make it tropical. Okay, give me a tropical question. Okay, let's say... For the scenario, I'm building a scenario to ask the question. Okay. Let's say um, you're in a plane. Yep. And the plane crashes on a tropical island in the middle of nowhere. Okay, a tropical island. I like it. Yeah. And you can, you're the only one that survived. Okay. And you're, you have to now live on this island with the rations that were on the plane. And there was quite a bit of plane food, so it'll last you a while. Yeah, yeah. But you can only choose one song to listen to for the rest of your life. <laughs> you, you, what you, would it mate, be? you always give me these choosing questions. <laughs> what would it be? Um, oh, man. I'm going to have to go with Can't Help Falling in Love with You, Elvis Presley. What? Yeah. Just because you're depressed the whole time? No, because like I feel like it's a song you could listen to in any mood. Yeah. If you're sad, you can listen to it. If you're happy, you can listen to it. If you're, you know, neutral, you can listen to it. I feel it. like it makes you sad listening to it. Nah, but it's not a sad song. But I feel like it gives it gives me a sad feeling. No, it can be sad, but it also is a happy song. True, true. So, you know, not all slow songs are sad. Do you want me to tell you what my song was? Yeah. I had one ready to write. Okay, yeah. I, wanted, I was going to ask, what's your yeah. answer? Don't Stop Me by Queen. Oh, yeah. Do you know that queen. one? Yeah. Don't stop me yeah, now. Yeah, no, 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 because, no, no. I don't know, as much as I listen to that song, I, I don't get sick of it. Yeah. It gets me pumped. It's yeah. like a feel-good, like, yeah. motivating kind of song. Yep. So, yeah, that that was mine. Okay, no. Pretty good, solid. Good tropical question. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, my question is, so there's things that always happen that you don't see. For example, there's a building being built, but... It just ends up getting built, but half the time you don't even see people working on it. Yeah, well, you yeah. Know, tradies now, actually d- don't actually work. Do they? <laughs> they do. Don't you they can't... just take breaks all day? <laughs> <laughs> we love our tradies. Like we've said, we love everyone, uh, especially our soft souls. Okay, so my question is, have you ever seen anybody change a billboard? Nah. Yeah? Never. Do you know why I'm asking? Because the other day on my drive, I saw someone change a billboard. Wow, really? So, there was a cherry picker, and then there was a guy on a ladder. And the guy on the ladder was handing things to the guy on the cherry picker. Interesting. Um, so that he could change a billboard. And it was very interesting. I think a lot of billboards nowadays are electronic, so you probably don't see it as much. But they're still like, I'd say 90% are not electronic. Mm, yeah. Really? 90%? Yeah, I reckon 90%. You know the massive ones on your freeway or the highway yeah. that are so sky high that they can't possibly be digital because they're gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. Still could be digital though. In about 10 years, <laughs> they'll... In about 10 years, they'll Look, probably... Look, probably probably five. Probably five years, probably I'd five, say, yeah. they'll be digital. Let's get into it. So far, so good. All right. Well, thank you guys once again for tuning in. Now, I do need to mention something from the last episode. Yeah, go and for I'm going to have to apologize to my mate Leighton, who, okay. uh, who taught me this word, okay. which we spoke about in the last episode. You're talking about sweaty. sweaty. Sweaty, yeah. Did something happen? <laughs> well, he kind of pulled me up uh, um, saying that our technical definition of the word was maybe not 100% correct. <laughs> but isn't that the definition that he gave us? Well, he was conflicting because he was he was calling me a sweaty. Okay. But I didn't know in what context he was calling me a sweaty. Anyway, okay. so basically what it is, it's someone who is like a full tryhard yep. who is pretty good, 
but not like a full pro. So not okay. like a noob. So not like you. <laughs> oh my um, God, what am I? A like somewhere in between us, right? Okay. So you're saying they have the right to brag a bit, but they shouldn't brag as much as they're yeah, bragging because they're not as good as what they actually are. Okay, but they're so like they're, they're somewhere in skillful. between us. So not a noob, not pro. Somewhere in between. You're, you're not. Thinks they're pro. <laughs> Chris pointed to me when he said noob, and he pointed his cell. You don't even you like admitted, video games. You admitted last week that you're a noob. No, I was a noob at that one game, but other games, <laughs> whew, I am. I could possibly be sweaty. Yeah, true, okay. true. Um, but now I've got uh, something that I'm just picking up in my hands right now. Okay. What are you looking at? It's a uh, SanDisk SSD drive. Yeah, so it's it's basically I use it as a hard drive. Okay. So why do you think I have this hard drive with me? <laughs> For decoration. <laughs> why did I bring this to the So Far So Good headquarters specifically today? Oh my god! You finally brought me a season of Survivor. We've got season, I believe, thirty-seven. I think it was. <laughs> It was so confident holding up the SSD disk drive. <laughs> so, it... I have a one of the most recent seasons of The American Survivor. Okay. Now, this... Um, I went through a few seasons, and uh, also I went through with Caitlin to get her opinion, and we came up with this season. I believe it's 37. Okay. Um, this is the one we came up with, which was uh, the one we want you to watch. So, now, before I physically take this drive from you so I can watch Survivor... This means, once I grab the drive, you also have to watch all three Lord not, of the Rings movies. Not until you finish it. No, you have to watch it at the same time, no, so no, we, can, we finish no, it around the, the same time. No, the bet was, you said, if you watch a season of Survivor, then I will... Okay, but just to you. save some time, if, we start, if I tell you I've started watching Survivor, episode season 37... Uh, then you can start watching Lord of the Rings trilogy. Did you say episode 37? I, I almost said episode <laughs> 37. Okay, so now I've taken the drive, so it's official. You have to watch all three Lord of the Rings okay, while once, I watch Survivor. No, no, once you watch the whole thing, I'm going to quiz you to make sure you watched it. Okay. And then I'll give you episodic watch. updates so that you know I'm not just cheating. Okay. Okay. And then we can discuss it on one of these near future episodes on the yeah, potty. quite possibly. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, Akram, shout outs to you once again. Um, we've got Gaurav on board, so... Yeah, thank you the, guys. Uh, the Survivor cult is growing. <laughs> I, re- I appreciate all the effort it's taken to uh, give me this one season of Survivor. So I'm actually very pumped to watch it because people have been talking to me about Survivor and I'm excited to actually finally be part of one of the Survivor parties. Exactly, and there's actually quite a bit of a buzz going on at the moment with the Australian Survivor. Yeah, it's going like quite we well. discussed. Uh, so yeah. I think... Um, might might get you onto that one after yep. this one. I'm 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 excited. <laughs> well, I'll keep you guys updated. Love it. Love now, it. one more thing. One more thing from last episode that uh, a few people have uh, messaged me about. You know, talked to me about some of our soft souls. So pretty much everyone about my ingenious idea has told me this bag share idea was a terrible idea. And you know what? <laughs> that actually makes me feel so much better because last episode I felt like. A bit of an a hole because I was <laughs> I was just completely putting you down. No, like but it doesn't... now you know what I'm. And I was talking to Caitlin about this the other day. You should always go with your gut feeling. And you know what I'm sticking with my gut feeling. It's a terrible idea. We're yeah, never creating bag share. It's okay. <laughs> this is not my point. This is not my point. My point was it may be a terrible idea, but it's still ingenious. If it's an ingenious idea, it doesn't mean it has to be a good idea. But the thing is, ingenious is basically a word that means a lot better than good. No, no, so no, no, no. If it's, it's, not even, it's not even a good idea. No, 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 no. You're the last. You're the last person I'm taking definitions from because <laughs> you call everything topical. Uh, ingenious, it's just innovative. It's something Can I different. say this idea, this bag share idea is topical? Why? Oh, because, mm. <laughs> because you think it's so good and you're saying this publicly, but everyone is... Just saying how bad it is. But that's not that's not what topical. <laughs> that's is. topical. Okay, it's now become topical within this small community. Within the community of so far so good. Yeah. It is. Super it is now. Topical. It is now topical. But it's not topical all around. And you know what? I was actually just with uh, our friend Peter. Okay. And he told me that he left you a voicemail. Is <laughs> he that did. right? What, what did he say in his voicemail to you? That, that in that voicemail he pretty much said, "You know that bag share idea." 
Man, I loved it. It was actually no, really No, he did not. <laughs> you know what? He, he literally told me he listened to the latest episode and he left you a voicemail just saying that is the worst idea I've ever heard of. Okay, like <laughs> I said, ingenious doesn't mean it has to be a great idea. It's ingenious. No, ingenious means it has to be better than great. Okay, for example... It's not even good. It's not great. It's, not, it's terrible. If someone invents a new nuclear bomb, it's not a good idea. It's a terrible thing, but it may be ingenious. Your, I rest my case. On a scale of so far so good, your idea is below the Earth's crust. <laughs> Was that on this? Well, I thought we measured things in leg length. Exactly. We're go- we've gone underground because of how bad it is, and it's gone that bad that it's gone beyond the Earth's crust. Okay. Well, moving on. <laughs> Ingenious idea, but not a great idea. All right. Hopefully we can never speak of this bag idea ever again. I'm also apart talking about from it. when I, <laughs> apart from when I bring it up because of how bad of an idea it was. <laughs> anyway, so I just came from uh, brunch okay. actually. Yeah. Um. So basically, uh, our mate Peter's uh, selling his house. So yeah. I was doing a bit of uh, photography. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice stuff. Nice stuff. Yeah, because he uh, apparently went to a real estate agent. It was going to be about. Five grand for photos and advertising. Really? Yeah. That's alone. crazy stuff, yeah. So, I said, um, yeah, buy me brunch and we're good. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what friends do. Yeah. And you know what? Good to get out of the house and do something. Okay. You know? I love photography, so it's a bit of a hobby as well. Exactly, man. You are, you are a photographer yourself, yeah, so it exactly. makes sense. Basically, and uh, we went to the cafe, right? Yeah. And we're like really discussing what food to get and... There's one thing you guys need to know about me is that I'm very indecisive when it comes to food specifically. Okay. When I see a menu, there's just too many good options. I don't know what to choose. And I always want to choose the best option because if my food comes out and it's it's trash, yeah. I just feel like that was just the worst decision of my life. No, no, fair enough. Yeah. So we're full on discussing what food to get. The guy comes over. We're like, oh, we'll just get a coffee. And then he's like, are you ready to order? And we're like, oh, not quite yet. And then... Um, you know, he goes and we're still discussing the food. Yeah. And then we're pretty, we're discussing pretty intently. Okay. And then um, we d- finally decide what we're getting and we're like, sweet, all right, we're getting that. And then, you know, we start talking about other things. Um, our coffee's come out and he's like, you know, have you guys ordered your food? And we're like, yeah, yeah, it's all ordered, all that. And then we talk a bit more and then we're like, hang on, wait, we haven't actually ordered our food yet. <laughs> so Peter walks back up to the guy at the counter and he's like, um... Yeah, so weird thing, we actually haven't ordered our food. So you just decided with each other what you're going to yeah, order. and then but... we started talking about other things without realizing that we'd ordered our food. Yeah, yeah. And it was just the most awkward thing, watching <laughs> Peter walk up to someone and be like, um, we actually haven't ordered yet. Sorry, we thought we ordered, but we just decided what to get. And then he walks back over and we order our food, and it was just the most strange thing that but, has ever okay. happened to me in my life. But all around, was it, what, were you happy with your meal? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, surprisingly, I got a smashed avo. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about avocado a bit later. Yeah, one hundred percent. Actually, I've never, yeah. I have never bought a smashed avo at a cafe in my life. So that's your first time buying a smashed avo. Well done. Um, I've impressed. had avo on toast at home or whatever. Yeah. You know, because I'm a hippie, so <laughs> <laughs> gotta love that stuff. It's um, um, it it actually. Ties in very well to what we're it talking does, about today. It does, and we'll we'll definitely be bringing up. Well, I'll be bringing up avocado later well, in the episode. Actually, if you're cool with it, I want to bring it up right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I need to finish my story. Okay, finish the story. Quick... Finish yeah? the story. Finish right, the story. I'll finish the story. So, um, and then we finish, and then we're about to go pay. And I'm like to Peter, you know what? Like, just let me pay for mine. I was gonna take photos of your house anyway. Like, you know, that's like we're mates. Obviously, I was gonna do it anyway. Yeah. And he's like, nah, 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 you know, it's just brunch. I'll just buy it for you. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll pay for my brunch and then I'll just take the $5,000 for photos and marketing instead. <laughs> <laughs> so I what did you, that was a good trade-off. What did you come to terms to? <laughs> nah, he just, he just bought me brunch. So. <laughs> so it's a good it was, saving, man. Peter, great decision. Yeah. Um, so why I want to talk about avocado. So what this main episode is about is we, we said we're going to do a segment on underrated, underrated things. An underrated segment. So, this one is specifically about foods that we think are underrated. Yeah, so it's basically our second uh, episode in the series of underrated things. Yeah, and why why I want to bring up avocado is because I want to start this episode off in talking about maybe a handful of foods that are extremely overrated or overhyped. Agreed. Okay? Agreed. And not 
avocado in okay maybe avocado but what i was specifically i've literally got it on my list in front of me smashed avo on toast <laughs> <laughs> well i actually wrote specifically this is what my note says Avocado in general. Okay. Look, so, avocado in any form is completely overrated. But now, I assume you had this list somewhat ready before you went out to brunch, right? Exactly. But you still ordered avo on to- smashed avo on toast. You know what? And I said to Peter, I actually said... Because he ordered a smashed avo, and I was going through the menu, and I was like, you know what? I'll get a smashed avo as well. And I was like, this is my first time ordering a smashed avo at a cafe, and you know what? The podcast I'm about to um, record, I'm going to be mentioning Smashed Smash Avo. So, Again, so look out for it. But <laughs> <laughs> After you ate the Smashed Avo, do you think it's overrated? Yeah, it's definitely overrated. Yeah, 100% definitely. overrated. Because ne- people go to a cafe specifically for Smashed Avo. Yeah. And like, they're, they're craving a Smashed Avo. Yeah. Even Caitlin, she loves it. Smashed Avo. And she'll say, oh, can we go out for breakfast? I'm yeah. craving a Smashed Avo. Yeah. And I'm like, How? <laughs> Tell me how. It's, how is it something you crave? <laughs> yeah. but look, each to their own. Now, I just want to, in case people don't understand, Smash Avo in Australia is a brunch, a, like a very common brunch dish. It's pretty much avocado smashed with some herbs and spices, maybe yeah. some garnishes on toast, and that's pretty much it. And you normally have egg with it as well. Yeah, um, there's a poached egg I usually. I believe on top. in America you guys just call it um, avocado toast. <laughs> I believe what that's what that they call accent? it. Avocado toast. <laughs> okay, I like <laughs> Uh, I enough. believe that's what they call it. I, I believe that's what they that also in, um, call it. Videos too. and movies and stuff. Okay. But, okay. No pun intended, but my beef with avocado. <laughs> <laughs> my beef with avocado is that avocado. Okay, it's it's great. You know. Yeah. It's nice and smooth. It's got a great texture. It's okay. healthy. Yeah. But it literally has no taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have it with stuff. So I don't understand how someone can crave something that has no taste. Fair enough. Fair enough. Understandable. That's my. That's that's what I just. Don't I just understand. feel. Yeah, I feel like apart from the health reasons, like it's just it's generally. Over- I don't hate it. I like avocado, but it's not something I crave, and I just personally think it's a bit overrated. Yeah, it's okay, but it's and, definitely overrated. And along the same lines of health overrating or overhyping, kale. I feel like yeah. it's so overrated. Well, what what is it? It's just a leaf. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like a leaf veggie. You but would only have it for the health benefits. You'd have it for the because even I think kale doesn't have much of a taste either, mm. um, and it's just it's just one of those superfood things that are overhyped and overrated. Yeah, like it's cool, I understand, but you know, kale's in everything now. It's such a hipster thing. Yeah. A lot of these overrated foods are just hipster things. Can I say something that might offend you? <laughs> what? Anything coconut related. Why would that offend me? <laughs> because you love coconut. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not you like... You crave coconut. I, I don't crave coconut. You get coconut juice. Co- what did, you got something coconut the other day. Coconut water. I love coconut water. You got something the other day, coconut. Uh, coconut ice cream? Or a smoothie or something? Oh, you're where, talking where about coconut uh, bubble tea. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've got coconut you, bubble you tea. You love coconut flavored no, things. Yeah, but I don't think it's overrated at all. Yeah, so that's why I thought it would offend you. Oh, well, I'm because not offended. Each guess, to their own. Yeah, you're guess, allowed to hate it. I guess that one is an each to their own. You're allowed to hate a delicious <laughs> fruit. It's okay. I don't hate it, it's but okay. I, I just... It wouldn't be my choice of flavor, that's all. Okay, it wouldn't be my first choice of flavor. You know, my first choice of flavor is usually grape, if it exists. Or chocolate. Yeah, well, chocolate's not a flavor. For Chocolate's you. a thing. Well, so is a grape, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, well, what... No, chocolate has a flavor. No, what if is it? If it's, something, if it's something like a smoothie or a juice, I'll go for a berry sort of flavor. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my next overrated thing would be um, cupcakes and muffins. Cupcakes are fairly overrated. I Do agree. you know why? Yeah. Because I only eat cupcakes for the icing. That's it. Me too. Me like, too. The other part of it, no one wants the other part. Well, you know what? You know what's good? I feel like, I feel like it's an in-between. It used to be overrated, but I feel like because of the overhype... Cupcakes got better. Yeah, like the quality. The quality got better. Yeah. I feel like cupcakes were... Yeah, yeah, everyone loves cupcakes. But then because of that hype, all these new styles of cupcakes came out. That's and they're true. really good. Like, how good is a red velvet, cup, red velvet cupcake? Yes, red velvet They're good. really good. Yeah. So, they're a bit of a middle ground for me. See, that kind of thing is good, but if you just have, like, a plain cupcake, yeah. it's just dry and... Yeah. yeah. And if there's not enough, you know, icing or frosting for you to sort of portion your bites exactly. with exactly then it's a bit of a letdown dude half the time I eat the whole bottom first just to get that out the way me too <laughs> and then I eat the icing so part. that there's a thin layer of cupcake and yeah. a thick layer of icing exactly. and then when you eat it it's just 
It's way better than the, the yeah, exactly. whole version of the cupcake. So, understandable. And I know part- what you mean. Partnered with cupcakes is muffins. Yeah. I think muffins are completely overrated. Like, people go out to a cafe and get, like, their... I'll get a coffee and a muffin. Yeah. Like, why? I agree. And unless you're getting, like, a chocolate chip muffin, like... Other what? than that, it's just it's In just comparison dry. to what? Like a blueberry muffin? No, like... A, well, a, I guess a plain muffin. I guess blueberry muffins aren't too bad. Blueberry muffins... But it's just, it's just plain. Like, it's just dry. Yeah. And it's, it's... I've, it's I've had good great. muffins before, but when they're, like, fresh. Yeah. And, yeah, muffins are just, like, cake for breakfast. Yeah, it's like, what's really in it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a bit overrated. I'll agree on that. Now, going... Just going back a bit to, you know, super hyped healthy foods... Things like chia seeds and quinoa seeds, mm. I feel like they're overrated. Yeah. I, I totally agree with the health benefits and whatnot. But when when people say, oh my God, I love chia seeds. I was like, yeah, but it doesn't really have a taste. It really doesn't. It doesn't have a taste. And it it's doesn't. like... They're getting, they're getting fogged in the brain by the health benefits. It's like how you thought um, the Great Northern was Heineken because I fogged your brain <laughs> saying they're all different That's beers. That's actually not a bad analogy. It's, it's but, perfectly um, good comparison. But remember when you lost that race? <laughs> <laughs> remember I'm in, just going to say that every time you bring but up... Remember in the race how at the start of the episode you said, you know, I don't want to be too serious, you know, because... Uh, you know, I just want to have fun. And then in the middle of the race, he said, now I'm a super competitive guy. So yeah, but you I know what? I just I just wanted to pretend like I wasn't taking it serious just in case I lost. So you, oh, so you were just trying to play it cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, so then you if did I win, lost, I could be like, ah, oh, it was all just a bit of fun. Yeah, because... But you, really, we you, were playing to win. We were playing to win. I was playing to win. And I'm actually sad that your hypothetical situation that you were sort of <laughs> mulling over for about three hours, I didn't actually I do. wish I thought of it beforehand and did it myself. I wish I thought of it that so would that... Been hilarious. You figured it out in the middle of the race. But anyway, yeah. moving on. <laughs> um, okay, I think this is one of the biggest overrated foods ever. Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Depends what type you get, I suppose. I feel like it's so um, overrated. It is overrated for the fact that you go to a frozen yogurt shop, you get a bit of yogurt and some toppings, and it's like $8. It's like 40 bucks. What? <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it's it's so expensive. Yeah, and it is. I'd rather eat ice cream. Yeah. 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 I so agree. that's why I feel like frozen yogurt is just overrated. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Moving on to a couple of meats. I'm trying to like really get through these overrated ones because we really want to talk about the underrated ones. Fair enough. But I'm going to hit up ribs. Um, ribs for the sole fact that it looks huge when it gets served to you, but it's majority bones okay. and sauce and there's not that much meat. Like I had ribs the other day. I had a full plate and a half worth. Um, and I was still hungry afterwards because there's barely any meat on them. Oh, fair but enough. then again, it depends on you know how bulky or muscly the animal was. But anyway, I don't. I just don't think it's worth. Yeah. Worth it because it doesn't really fill you up. I can't really relate because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another one you can't relate to a roast <laughs> a roast dinner. Okay. Like if you just have like roast lamb and veggies, it's just so lame, dude. <laughs> it's not. It's. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's it doesn't sound even... that appealing to me, but yeah, once like, again... <laughs> it's just not a good meal. Yeah. It's honestly not. Okay. Um, oh, this is going to be super... Actually, this will be super topical. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm saying it's overrated. Okay. Steak. How is that topical? Because, dude, people are serious about their steak. <laughs> like, so many people are serious about their steak. I think steak is overrated. Okay. If I had the choice, if there was no cost involved... I would choose to not have steak, even though steak is generally more expensive. Okay. So you're like saying, you know, one that's, you, whatever, slow cooked, medium rare, blah, 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 that costs $50,000. Even if you got it for free, you'd be like, nah, I'd rather get, you know, some chicken. Yeah. Well, fair well, enough. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll agree with that. Pretty much, dude. Yeah. Um, another one is mushrooms. What? Now. Wow. I, there's a bit of context. So far, not so one. good. There's a bit of context to this one. My parents don't like mushrooms, so I never grew up eating them. But that I, that doesn't make it overrated. That just means you don't like mushrooms. I'm giving you my context here. <laughs> okay, there's a context. But now, like the last like few years, I've been eating them with, yeah. with meals and pasta and whatever, pizza, okay. whatever. Um, but I still think they're overrated because I just, I don't, I don't get the appeal to them. But I, I don't think there's a massive hype around it for it to be overrated. I feel like it's one of those things where you can like it or you can hate it. But I don't think the people are going Dude, around being like, mushrooms, mushrooms, yeah. Peter literally asked me at brunch, do you like mushrooms? And I said, uh, they're okay. <laughs> but that... I'm like, what about you? And he's like, yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, but they're And not... like, Caitlin's obsessed with them. I, there is actually quite a hype on mushrooms. Mm, I feel like because it's... Not as much as kale. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like Kale's gone down in the last few years. No one really talks about it. Yeah, I think it was it was it was a peak and then it peaked down. Yeah. But with mushrooms, there's a similar thing called truffle, and I think that's overrated. Truffle. Truffle. Is that that like really sour? It's like, that you taste, might have had it on pasta. Sm- they put truffle like, oil. Does it smell like poo? Is that the one? No, it definitely doesn't smell like it smells like it smells like cheese. It's got a very distinct smell, but I feel like truffle is overrated, and that literally costs thousands of dollars because it's so rare. Yeah, um, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't have had actual truffle pieces, but you would have had truffle infused oil or something like that. You one hundred percent. I feel like I ate truffle when I was in Italy. Is it in Italy? Yeah, it's an it's a big. Yeah, Italy, I yeah. think I did eat it, and it was pretty gross. But some yeah. people think it's like a full on delicacy. It it's a full deli. Like I think it's 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 thousands of dollars a kilo. It's okay, thousands of that dollars. That we can we can say is definitely overrated. Hun- I think it's overrated. Yeah, it's nice. But if you put a little bit too much, all you can taste is truffle. Yeah. Like, what about my chips? I yeah, can't taste sure. my chips now. <laughs> I have one last overrated one. Hit me. And I saved this one for last because okay. this is... You are going to you are gonna cry. Well, I already hate you for saying mushrooms, so... <laughs> oh, you need to be prepared. I'm prepared. Are you prepared? If you're going to say chocolate, I will slap I'm you. I'm shielding my face. He's going to say chocolate. He's going to stab me. Nah, not chocolate. Cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> We might need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost it. I can see it in his eyes. He's got that evil look in his eyes when you're about to like murder someone. I and can't believe you just said cheese. <laughs> you could have just not said it. You could have just not said it and it would have been okay. Cheese is so overrated. Cheese is not overrated. Cheese is the perfect amount of rated. <laughs> Get out. If anything, it's underrated. Dude, if I had the choice of eating cheese and not eating cheese, I would not eat it. You keep giving me that example, Dude, but... <laughs> It's a good example. Dude, cheese just blocks up your intestines and it just... You just have a poor digestive system. No, I have a great digestive system. I disagree. No, I do. I've smelt your farts. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, did you know it's a fact? The worst your smarts... Hang on. The worst your farts smell, the more healthy you actually are. Prove it. It's a fact. Who said? Google it. There's no such thing. Google it. (laughs) Okay, moving on. (laughs) Moving on to underrated things because... If anything, cheese is underrated. I want to talk about... I just want to give a little... Let me give an umbrella. I feel like it's it's kind of linking back to our first underrated, you know, general experiences. Okay. I feel like successfully cooking is such an underrated feeling. Do you mean like when you cook something and you've actually made it? You've made it and it's turned out nice. It's yeah. like, oh, what a good feeling. Like, you can be proud of yourself, but you can't really go around and be sweaty about it. Yeah. Like, yo, look at my food, look at my food, it's so good. Yeah. So, I feel like it, it, it goes underappreciated sometimes. Yeah. So, I just want to Very start true. off by saying that. Can I just pause for two seconds? Of course. I just Googled about bad smelling farts. Okay. okay. Get this. Ironic, this is a quote <laughs> from um, Thrillist.com. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be Dr. The, something No, no, Thrillist.com That is a doctor website Who um, said? The, ready? <laughs> Quote Ironically, the healthier the food you eat The worse the smell of the farts Okay, I believe that Because it's like when you eat asparagus Apparently your pee turns a bit more green Well, that's got Dude, the colour of your pee has got to do with hydration No, exactly, but not green It's like the level of yellowness to Dude, the if level you're of peeing clearance. green, you've got an issue. <laughs> no, it's because you've eaten experiment. No, no, no. It doesn't turn green. I've mistaken it. Your pee stinks, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I've, I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of something. <laughs> Ignore that, guys. This is a Sci-Fi So Good podcast. We don't do facts very often. <laughs> okay. And now, something I want to start off with that's underrated. And I feel like you'll agree with me. Water. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? <laughs> Water is so underrated. I was not expecting water, but yeah. 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 Not me personally. I drink a heap of water. No, no. I drink a heap of water too. personally, no. But how underrated. Like, you drink water and you're just thinking, this is exactly what I needed in my life. And I can give you an example of water being underrated. Okay. Right? Um, When we went to Peter's birthday... Man, Peter, (laughs) get out of this podcast. (laughs) We should call this Peter's Peter's episode. (laughs) So when we were at Peter's birthday, um, I decided to drive. Okay. That was earlier this year. Yeah. I decided to drive. Um, I don't know. I just decided to drive. I didn't want to drink. <laughs> yeah. Right. The whole night, you know, everyone was drinking. You guys were drinking, but I was just drinking water. So I was drinking as much as you guys, 
But I was still having as much fun whilst drinking water. Yeah. Because it was hydrating me and making me feel good. Man, that's, you know, that sounded like a sponsored ad for yeah. a water company. So, if you want 10% off water, go to... <laughs> <laughs> Which water? You just sing water. Just go to your household tap. You get it for free. Just go to your tap and type in the code SFSG <laughs> and you'll get 10% off your water bill. <laughs> On your smart taps at home, guys. Um, okay. Now, this is something I don't know if you'll agree with. It's a classic dish, bread and butter. Yeah, it's I believe so underrated. I, I believe it's uh, fairly rated because if you go to Europe, really, you always get bread and butter at the start. No, but that's uh, why everyone it's, eats bread and butter. It's so it's underrated. Like I'm talking about here. Think about Australia. No yeah. one's going to eat bread and butter. That yeah, that's true. Actually, the closest we get is fairy bread, which has been <laughs> a recurring thing in this podcast. Well, that's basically just sugar, anyway. It's just it's bread, butter, really? and sprinkles, but. Bread and butter itself is so good. Yeah. It Underrated is actually so far so good. And so underappreciated. Yeah, very true. I will uh, hit you up with another one. Actually, you know how you said overrated was frozen yogurt? Yep. I would say underrated is normal yogurt. I totally agree with I you. I have normal yogurt every single day yeah. um, with my lunch are, are as, you as my dessert. Are you talking oh, so like a flavoured yogurt? Well, yeah, basically just well, just like any fruit, like a yeah, fruit, yogurt. fruit flavored yogurt. I agree, man. Um, Underrated for but sure. Yeah, no one at my work eats yogurt. Um, I don't know if like I guess me and my family eat yogurt a fair yeah. bit, but I feel like just general people don't eat yogurt that much yeah. on a daily basis. Okay, I have it every single day. I love yogurt. I I, I do understand, and I totally agree. It's yeah. definitely a bit underrated or underappreciated. So I would least. say, yeah, like I would say we love it, but I feel like for the masses of people out there. I would say it's underrated. Okay. 100% agree. Agreed. That's a good one. Um, okay. What I think is a bit underrated. Okay. It's it's rated, but it's underappreciated. Okay. Dips. Dips, yeah. I mean... Dips with chips, crackers, biscuits, whatever. But dips in general. I feel like general. they're... Well, I guess we have different... Um, I'm not really a dip sauce kind of person. You're also not a cheese guy, so, you know, I'm not going to... We have different opinions. I feel like this whole food episode will come down to opinions. <laughs> apart <laughs> apart from some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, you're, you're not a dip say... guy. You're not a dip guy. No, nah, I'm not. But I would say dips are rated fairly for what they are. I feel like... Okay, I, I feel like they're rated, but I feel like they're not appreciated as much. Nah, they're appreciated enough. <laughs> <laughs> man, this guy hates the dips. This guy's hating on the dips. I know. So you're not much of a sauce guy, are you? Nah, not really. Man. Yeah. See, I like to have in my burger or a wrap or whatever. I like there to be a good amount of whatever sauce is in there. Yeah, you like to have like chips with your sauce kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're that kind of guy. I just realized what you said. <laughs> you're that kind of guy. Yeah. Um, so another sorry. underrated one would be smoothie bowls or acai bowls. Dude, they are I love so them. overrated. I love them, dude. They are overrated, if anything. Dude, they're so nice and refreshing and... I, I like them. They're not bad. healthy. But... No, they're pretty healthy. I like them. But 100%, they are not underrated. Dude, there are cafes which only sell acai bowls. Yeah, like Acai Brothers. Yeah, exactly. I love Acai Brothers, dude. But it's so... It's over... I feel like it's overrated. But how is it overrated? Because people are like, oh my god, like a... a I'm, see, I, but I it, can't but see... But they are amazing. I can't see how you can really sort of... Like, it's just a lot of the same thing. But I'm surprised that you don't like them. No, I don't not like them. I like them. But have I you just, been to Acai Brothers? I have, many the times. The actual Acai Brothers? Yeah. I've got one? the one with the organic peanut butter and the... Um, yes, yeah. that one's so good, dude. D- dude, don't get me wrong. I, I liked it a lot. Which one did you go to? I don't know, bro. It was a long time ago. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna take you to the one in Croydon. Okay, take me. I'll go with you. We can we can Wait, do a bit um, of a pod there. And when I say Croydon, I'm talking about in Victoria, in Australia. In not the I UK. believe there's a bunch of Croydons in yeah the UK. Oh, it must be all around the world. But yeah, I feel like <laughs> I don't hate them, but I feel like they go in the overrated category. They're for so me. good though. No, they are good. But I personally think they are so good. They are good. They're so far so good. But they're, in my opinion, a little bit overrated. I okay. I would say they're not completely underrated, but they're they, okay. They Sh- could be rated better. Should we say, com- like compromise? They're rated. Let's say they they're pretty rated. Man, well, the cafe I went to this morning didn't have one. They didn't <laughs> sell a smoothie bowl. Yeah, but that's because I was you pretty depressed. You have to sort of, and that's why I got a smashed avo. 
<laughs> yeah, close. I thought I'll get. try something new. <laughs> okay, different opinions here, but it's okay. Nah, all right. Let, let's. They're rated. Let's say they're all rated. Right, they're fairly rated. On three, let's two, say. one, we'll say rated. Three, two, one. Great Northern. Rated. Oh my lord. <laughs> Okay, something that's that I that's I was I was actually going to turn around and say overrated too, but I decided to be a bit civil this time. But you stitched me up. Right. Um, raw carrots. Raw carrots. Raw carrot. Peel a carrot. Underrated. And eat it. Underrated. You reckon? Hundred percent. They're okay. They're, they're, I think they're the best raw vegetable to have. Really? That and nah, cucumbers. Nah, beans. You love beans. beans. Are raw the best. raw carrots. Okay, when I have vegetables, I don't. I don't cook them at all. I always have it as salad because okay. I actually like vegetables better as salad than as vegetables. Well, I don't cook, know. cook, because cook. <laughs> I don't know. You call it salad and you call it vegetables, right? Yeah. So vegetables generally are cooked. Salad is generally uncooked. Yeah. I like it better uncooked, and I always leave my beans to last because they're my favorite. Okay. How how do you not love beans? I love beans. I'm not saying they're underrated or overrated. I don't think they're underrated. I think raw carrots are underrated. You reckon? I reckon. I reckon they're rated decently. I like, reckon they're, not they're the that best, great. the best raw vegetable you could have. If you just want to pick up a vegetable, peel it, and eat it, it's a carrot. Right. Like you wouldn't do it to a potato, obviously. But if I, <laughs> hypothetically, if you did it to a potato, it wouldn't be as good as having a carrot. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, but it also wouldn't be as good as a bean. It's definitely better than a bean. No, we agree to disagree. Once okay, again. they're both rated. <laughs> <laughs> Another on the whole health food thing. Um, but why do we keep talking about healthy foods? That's I've got a healthy life. I've got two. Okay, they're both fruits. Uh, first is pears. Okay, pears okay. are amazing. They're they're okay. I'd say pears underrated. are so much better than apples. I disagree. Really? Have you had a? I had on my list a pink lady apple. Underrated. Pears are so much better. They're softer. They're tastier. Generally juicier. Generally juicier, <laughs> I agree, but I feel like okay, I agree they're underrated. I agree on that, um, but I feel like like when was the last time you saw someone buy a pear or eat a pear? No joke. The last two weeks, I've been having a pear every day. What? Yeah. Oh, dude, you're as a part of my lunch, yeah, dude, which is why I understand legit. what you mean. Like, I can they're pretty I can great. Directly connect with you in this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other one is mango. Mango. I think I love them. Probably my favorite fruit. Already? Really? Yeah. That's a big call, So, dude. I think it's rated. I think it's rated. Yeah. I, I don't think it's underrated or overrated. I think it's it's appreciated yeah, for Yeah, I think is. they are appreciated too, uh, quite well. The reason I say underrated, because, again, I grew up never eating mango. Ah, uh, okay. And in the last few years, I've been eating mango. Yep. Because um, I feel like, you know, when you grow up, your parents not liking something, you automatically don't like it. And then when you try it... It's already built into your brain, I don't like this. Yeah. So yeah. then you just don't like it. 100%. I kept I kept eating mango and then I ended up realizing, dude, this tastes amazing. Dude, exactly. It's for example, like when when I told you that they're three different beers, it's built up in your brain that there's three different <laughs> beers. <laughs> there's oh. so many ways I can bring you back to this. Dude, like, remember when you lost that race? <laughs> yeah, look, but it wasn't really a race. <laughs> I got to enjoy my ice cream. <laughs> uh, um, um Okay, this is a fast food fast food chain which I think is underrated. O- Oporto. Oporto. Underrated. Yeah, they're okay. It's so good, but it's it's not people don't appreciate it. Dude, but what about peak hour when like three people are in the line? Which <laughs> makes it so much better. It makes it so much more underrated. Yeah. Because it's directly you can see. Why aren't people appreciating this? You know, I was listening to a podcast the other day. Yeah. And they were talking about this guy who told his story of a first date he went on. Okay. Apparently, he picked the girl up, drove an hour to the nearest Oporto, because yeah. he loves Oporto. Okay. He drove another half an hour to a lookout, Okay. where they ate their Oporto, yep. and by the time they got there, it was cold, and then <laughs> and then he just dropped her home, and that was the entire date. But but they ate the Oporto? Yeah. I and reckon then, she and ate then it. She never thought, saw him again. <laughs> wow, he must be in the line of a porter getting oh, his next meal. I know, right? Interesting, interesting story. Yeah. So, uh, nah, I don't. I think a porter is average, to be okay. honest. <laughs> you you have to have it more, and then you'll understand what I mean. Mm, okay. Just just try it a couple more times, and right. give me your verdict. All right. Give All me right. the benefit of the doubt. Like right. you know, don't. Next time it's in the vicinity, and I'm buying food, I'll get it. Yeah, for sure. Now I've got two more healthy foods. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you going on These are the kick? last two. Underrated? Actually, there's a couple. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, a couple. Let's just two. go with this one. Okay. Uh, nuts. Okay. Underrated, you think? Well, 
now that I think about it, I feel like they're decently rated. So people probably don't eat them as much because they're so expensive. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. I feel I like they're rated. The but... price pushes the rating up. So yeah. I reckon they're... Now I think about it, they're probably rated pretty fairly. <laughs> Instantly changed mine. <laughs> no, I agree. I think they're rated, but I, I do enjoy I it. would eat them more if they weren't so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I do I do enjoy like a, a, a trail mix, you know, fruit and nut oh, mix. But trail mix is a bit fake nuts. Like, it's no, got, they're it's real got nuts. Like, yeah, but it's got like one nut and then it's got like one piece of chocolate and then one like, what's the other one? The berry thing? The dried fruit. Dried fruit. Yeah, yeah. It's not really Well, it depends nuts. what trail. You've got to get a good trail mix that has a good balance. The, the cheaper Aldi, trail mix. The Aldi trail mix is fire. Shout out to Aldi, man. It Absolute sounds like a good fire. store. Dude, it's a great shop. <laughs> I'm serious. No, no, I totally agree with you. I 100% <laughs> agree with you. Um, next would be olives. Olives, I feel, I love olives. I grew up hating olives. Man, you hated a lot of things as a child. Yeah. Uh, my parents loved olives, but I grew up but personally them. hating them because, I don't know, I didn't like the sour flavor or whatever yeah. that tangy flavor is. Yeah. But now when I eat it, I'm like, dude, this is like an orgasm in my mouth. I love olives, but I feel like they're rated. I don't think they're underrated. I think they're rated well. Fairly rated? I think yeah. they're fairly rated, but yeah. I do love them. Yeah, but it's a good, good. it's a good shout out. For, for olives, sure. for sure. Yeah. Um, I've also got what I eat every single day of the week, like weekdays when I'm working. Okay. Chicken and rice in a, in a, like a pre-packed meal. So Underrated. I, yeah, because I cook the chicken and I cook the rice with beans and like some frozen vegetables and I put it all together and then I freeze them. So then every day I have that for lunch at work. Okay. Um, and you know what? Caitlin says to me all the time, like, you know... I, you got to try. You got to eat something else. You know, try some new stuff. But I actually love it. I wouldn't mind eating that every single day for the rest of my life for lunch. So it's that would not, be the meal. meal. That would be the meal you choose if you landed on a tropical island. Well, no, but <laughs> that's a whole different. Ca- that's a whole different story. But what I'm saying is, if I had to eat that for lunch every single day for the rest of my life, I wouldn't mind because okay. it fills me up. It's healthy. It's good for me. Why not? Okay, once again, vegetarian, can't relate, but I'm happy if you're happy. <laughs> you eat chicken. I've, I have eaten chicken, but I'm, I'm a vegetarian. You eat chicken. Uh, so, so, it just depends how experimental I feel on the day. <laughs> Gorev you know eats chicken, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is not the point. This is not the point. <laughs> Underrated, I think, pineapple. Yeah, uh, I feel like it's pretty fairly rated. I feel like, I feel it's, like it's not. Rated, I feel like it's not rated enough. It's rated, but it's, in my standard, pineapples are knee level, but I think they should be head level. Mm, I feel like pineapple is at waist level and should be. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. I, I think it could be more, but I do love I do love pineapple. Yeah, and that's because you're the kind of guy who says yes to pineapple on pizza. I ask, you're that kind I of pay, guy. I pay extra... For pineapple on pizza. Who wants hot pineapple? Me. Who? Me. A lot of people. Man, you people are weird. Dude, you gotta you gotta try it. Don't knock it till you try it. I have tried it and I take it off. <laughs> Just ask for it without no, it. No, I take exchange it for your beans. This is what I do. I take the pineapple off, I put the pineapple in the freezer. Once I finish my pizza, I go and eat the cold pineapple for dessert. Is that really what you do? Yeah. Wow. No, nah, not really. I just thought it was a good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> I might do that from now on. Give me the pineapple next time and I'll enjoy it. I'll yeah, enjoy true. it. Um, another one for me would be cereal. The yeah. reason I say that, I actually don't have any cereal at my house. Okay, so you're, you're, you're <laughs> thinking it's, like, it's sort of like a, a thing that you wish you had more of kind of thing. Not necessarily, but... Um, well, I guess the problem is a lot of cereals are just not good for you. Like, they're full of sugar. Very true. So, I just eat toast every day. Yeah. Um, the reason I don't eat cereals is because it's not really healthy, I guess. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't even have it at my house at all. Okay. But when I go on holidays or if we go on getaways, we have cereal and I love it. Okay. So, I would say... It's underrated in that sense, but you couldn't have it every day if you want to be healthy. I feel like, yeah, it is a bit underrated, but it's good because you could pretty much have it breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Have you had cereal for dinner before? No, and I never plan to. Well, you're missing <laughs> out. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe I'll try it. Okay. But I probably won't. <laughs> um, this is a vegetable, or a root to be specific. Sweet potato. Mm. I feel like it's underrated. Nah. You don't think it's underrated? Nah, it's rubbish. 
Wow, we man. <laughs> okay, mashed potato. <laughs> mashed potato is it's it's good for the health benefits, but it's not really tasty. Really, it's not healthy at all. Mashed potato. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, it's just, potato. It's yeah, but potato is not a healthy vegetable. Yes, it is. It's just starch and carbs. Yeah, it's good. Well, for, some, for mm, someone like me who's active, carbs are good. Yeah, but like you wouldn't be like, oh, it's it. Let's have a healthy meal. Let's have a bowl of mashed potato. Well, I would not see it as a bad thing. I, I wouldn't say it's, a, it's not a bad thing. Like, it's better than getting a pizza. But I wouldn't look at it and be like, <laughs> oh, man, that's one healthy bowl of mashed potato. Hmm. But I wouldn't call it unhealthy. I probably would. Would you? Probably, yeah. Well, it's... Look, man, it just depends. I guess it just depends what you like, want. Like, if I saw a bowl of mashed potato, I would say that's a pretty good dinner. But in inside the mashed potato, generally, there's so much butter. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? So mashed yeah. potato itself, I wouldn't be like, mashed potato is a healthy meal. Well, if you cut down the butter a bit, then you, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, but <laughs> it's generally a side. You wouldn't just have... I would just have mashed potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't you'd like... You'd mix it you with know, something. You'd mix it with yeah. something. Yeah. But topical, underrated, topical. I feel like. It's not topical at all. <laughs> um, I was speaking to Caitlin before this episode. She wanted to chuck in a couple um, that I... Well, one I have yes, one not. Um, the one I haven't is a buttered toast dipped in Milo. Have you had that? I've never had that. Mm, interesting. That's that's more of a an independent recipe than an mm. underrated food. But thinking about it, it sounds good. It sounds good, but I'm not really a hot chocolate kind of guy, so have sounds you, average. Have you had cinnamon toast before? Cinnamon toast? Don't it's think it's so? very basic. It's sort of like a different take of fairy bread. So it's toast with butter. And then it's a mixture of cinnamon, like cinnamon powder and sugar, and it's sprinkled on top. And yeah. it's like a... I presume it would taste well, but I just, I feel guilty eating something that's heavily sugar. Yeah, so understandable. It's, yeah. Okay. It'll be a good dessert though. Yeah. As a once-off. As a once-off, <laughs> for sure. Um, another one was brisket and tea. So, you know, when you're having tea and you, or soup, I guess. Wait, and brisket? Dip, yeah. And you, like you know beef those, brisket. Those, um... Uh, Good question. I don't know. What are those little blocks of bread called? What are croutons. They called? Croutons. Oh, you talking Maybe about that's what she means. Maybe those. But anyway, I was thinking those when she said it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, she just said biscuit. Mm, nah, she definitely said brisket. All right, let's say those little square croutons mm-hmm. dipped in tea or soup. Crouton is soup is good. good. Yeah, I agree. How good is soup's actually really good? Soup's great. I maybe I reckon soup's pretty underrated. Mm. It's the best thing about getting sick is that your mum makes you soup. Pumpkin soup is my favourite. Pumpkin, you pumpkin. Got to get pumpkin. I've I had like, mushroom like soup. Chicken and good. chicken and corn. You do love your chicken. Corn soup? Have you had corn soup? I've had corn soup. Corn yeah, soup's nice. Corn it's soup's like a good man. It's sweet and tangy. I'm not too much of a fan of pumpkin. I do like pumpkin. I actually have pumpkin on there as an underrated vegetable all round. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I, I do I don't like really pumpkin like a lot. It, so. Pumpkin's so good. Mm. You can go in anything. Yeah, true. Yeah. I just had a couple of honourable mentions to close the episode off. Close it off. Um, honourable mentions because I'm on the fence about them. Okay. Um, first one we've already spoken about, which is sauce in general. Okay. I feel like sauce is overrated in a sense. I disagree. Because, yeah, you get a great flavour from the sauce, but then it almost takes away the flavour of what you're eating. But that's why you've got to have the right amount. Obviously, you don't want to drown it but in the sauce. But you drown sauce. Too. I don't drown it. I you put it... drown. What I you like... You would eat a hot... If you go to KFC, you will have like three sauces for a large chips. Yeah, I, that's true. That's but pretty But do you know why? Because what I don't want... I don't want there to be a sauce, but it's only in 20% of my wrap or burger. I want there to be sauce where I can taste the sauce as well as everything else in 100% of the burger. So you've got to put, obviously, a little bit extra. Yeah, but I you don't like, want to drench it in I the like sauce. I like just little bits of sauce. Yeah, you're not a sauce guy. Like, if I go to Subway, I'll say, just do, like, one line of maybe sweet chili and barbecue. Like, yeah. just one line. A line. Because if, you say, you, if you say, oh, um, they ask what sauce, you go, oh, sweet chili. They do, like, four, like, massive squirts. And that's great. And it's like, oh. It's a bit... I, I personally nah. think it's too much. I, f- I, f- I feel like there's a good balance of people who are sauce people and not sauce people. Yeah, there's so definitely those two types of that's people. That's a good one to be on the fence about. Yeah, for sure. Um, the next one I have is kiwi fruit because... Very interesting. For me personally, I actually do love kiwi fruit. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like it has no flavor. So I'm questioning myself as to why I love it. <laughs> no, no, no. I like kiwi fruit too, but I think it's rated. I don't think it's over or underrated. I think I like it for the texture and the refreshing 
it is quite because it is very fresh. Mm. But I don't. I think it's rate. I think it, it's it it deserves to be where it is right now. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those fruits. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So just sort of an honourable mention. It's a good honourable mention. Uh, the last honourable mention I have is a huge one. Okay. Brussels sprouts. I don't have it enough to give a verdict on it. Yeah, and I've never eaten it, so I can't <laughs> give a verdict. But I so wanted to. I wanted to hear what you had to say. <laughs> it literally just tastes like cabbage. Really? Yeah, it's like so, a strong cabbage. So it's not as bad as they depicted in the movies. It's not the worst thing in the world. No, I've had worse things. Mm. Yeah, I've had worse. Have you had? Uh, is it spinach that Popeye eats to make himself spinach? Yeah. Yeah, I have spinach. It's not great. Spinach is a hit and miss for me. I like spinach and things, but... Yeah, I never, if it's I never, in things, it's yeah, good. I don't but if mind. you eat it on its own, it's pretty bad. Hey? Yeah, it's like... I don't, it's, it's I, not, I don't crave spinach. Yeah. I don't, no, I, no one would. I feel like Popeye does. <laughs> His muscles crave His it. muscles crave <laughs> spinach. But all round, I think that's a good list of overrated, underrated, mm. and rated foods. Yeah. So a lot of them will come down to opinion, but there was a few in there that were definitely factual. <laughs> Yes, yes, I say. (laughs) I agree. I agree. Some of them. I'll say straight up, those are factual. Mm. Um, So thanks again, guys, once again for listening. And we're so glad you tuned in this week. Keep up to date on our Instagram, So Far So Good Podcast. And a final shout out to Peter for letting us mention his name 10,000 times in one episode. He says we, but I I said Peter's (laughs) name a couple of times. I actually asked him before the episode because he's he's listened to quite a few. Yeah. And I, I did say to him, do you mind if I mention you in the next episode? And he said, of course. But it was just kind of more like a funny question. <laughs> because, like, obviously no one would care if you mentioned their name. Because you wouldn't know exactly who they are. Because you're true. just saying their first name. We're just saying their so first no name. there's no possible way a random person would know who they are. That's true. But, and um, uh, we love everyone. Especially our soft souls. So. Yeah, shout outs to all the soft souls. Uh, thank you guys once again for tuning in. And we will catch you next week. Goodbye. So far, so good. Headquarters is getting broken into. (laughs) Bloody beef brisket. What the hell is a bloody brisket? (laughs) What's a brisket? Um, what I want to say... I forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? About Smashed Avo. I had something that was a killer, dude. (laughs) Oh...